I couldn't imagine my life without music. I could imagine my life without astronomy, but not without music. I'm more in music than in, in professional science. <laughs> I like it very much. And then I and I realized that this connection is is very deep. So gradually we, we came to this conclusion with Brian that uh, perhaps we need an event or about uh, this connection between music, space and astronomy with a unique goal to inspire people. Because I myself was inspired by a sci-fi film and I knew the strength and the power of inspiration. It is very, very strong. And I was a very strong believer that there is no education without inspiration. So when I see kids suffering at school because they don't study physics and math, and I always say, because you don't inspire them, you have to create an interest. And the best way to create an interest is to inspire them. It's like a flash, it's like a fire, you burn it in a kid, and then it goes. It can burn all his life. We ask our lecturers to, to make the lectures, to provide lectures and speak for the general public. So this is not intended really for people who have degrees in physics or, or, or in chemistry. This is really for general public. So you can pick up someone from the street, explain it and they will understand. Mixing all this together with a very interesting format and concept will be just a bomb, <laughs> an incredibly inspiring event. And that was the idea. Well, my answer is very simple. The space is a part of the Earth. We are in space. Now, nobody can imagine our a society without satellite communication. Now, what you call a progress in science is something that you cannot stop. I think considering the planet we are spending so much money on many unnecessary things. Cool. Uh, if you, <laughs> if we spend the 10% of military budgets of all the planet on doing space research, we would do <laughs> fantastic things. What is impossible today becomes possible tomorrow. We know that science has proven that don't be so critical. I mean, if someone would tell us 100 years ago that we are going to fly to the moon, we would laugh. We would laugh. And the same, I believe, is happening now. I'm pretty sure if money is invested, if, if the need is there, we will find a way to get new technologies to make space travel possible because the history shows that every time we try to make these predictions we make mistakes. <laughs>